Welcome to the Kupinger Call Analyst Chat. I'm your host. My name is Matthias Reinbart. I'm Lead Advisor and Senior Analyst with Kupinger Call Analysts. My guest today is, for a good reason, Martin Kupinger. He is Principal Analyst and one of the founders here at Kupinger Call Analysts. Hi, Martin. Hi, Matthias. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? And it's good to see you. Yes, so um, still recovering from the very, very busy European Identity and Cloud Conference uh, the week before last week in Berlin, um, a very successful and very uh, vibrant event. So it was really fun to be back with so many people on site and having all these discussions. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And we we are here today for the first in a series of two episodes where we want to reuse, use material that you provided at EIC because there's so much to digest. Um, you've held a op an opening keynote at EIC where you covered many aspects and it started with the with with one aspect that you wanted to look at these are the challenges in a changing world in a, a world that provides opportunities on the one hand but really is in change in very different dimensions so when we started looking at changes at at also at threats at at problems to to and, and challenges to manage where would you start when we look at challenges for identity and cybersecurity in general yeah i, I would spend spend it a little broader and take a little broader perspective so my keynote was really on uh, the requirement of, of strong leadership across the entire leader team from the ceo to the ceo um, to deal with change, but also to, to use the opportunities of that and how IT in general and identity and cybersecurity as one of the foundations must adapt to support um, sort of the business in this sort of ever-changing world. And we are talking that about this not just yesterday, since yesterday, but that theme of, it has been called digital transformation. I, I would better talk about a digital journey or the digital age, because it's something that you do once and then you transform it, you're done. It's a continuous evolution. This is out for uh, quite a couple of years. But in the past years, and uh, I would say the last two and a half, three years, we had um, two major uh, impacts, external impacts that are affecting many, most probably all businesses, which were the pandemic, and which is the um, Ukraine war we have and the overall political instability, but there are other changes. And what, what I believe is that when we look at it from a, a, a little bit of a distance, um, yes, there's always this, oh, there's this challenge, there's this disruption in that area, et cetera. But there are also opportunities and technology is an opportunity which can help businesses and not only businesses, organizations, the um, overall society, also, uh, which also can give them a lot of opportunities in moving forward. And so this was, was one of the um, the aspects I had, and that this is the one I'd like to dive uh, into deeper today. Right. So if we talk about change, you've already mentioned that these are external factors that are impacting business direct or indirectly. Um, what are the dimensions that we look at? We, this is global change. This is this is political change. This is social cultural change. This is med medical change or when it comes to travel that has impact on that. Where are the opportunities? Yeah. So so I, I think I think uh, what we can do and the way I split it is I, I split it into five levels of change, which is the global change, like climate change, which is despite all the other aspects probably the the biggest challenge we are facing, war and political instability as a global uh, impact and the pandemic. We have on the second level eco economic ecosystem change. So when we look at the the challenges we all f feel here. It's clearly inflation these days. We have business change, uh, which where I would highlight supply chain disruptions, take uh, the chip crisis and others, and the great resignation. Um, and we have organizational change, uh, which is more an ongoing thing, I would say. So the great resignation somewhere is between business and organizational change. 
And we have IT change. And when I look at it from a challenge perspective, um, clearly the cyber risks, the ever increasing cyber attacks, uh, both numbers and severity, are um, the one thing I would highlight on the on the challenge side. So <clears throat> we have change, but we all not only have challenges, and I think this is the important aspect to understand. There are things we probably can see as more neutral, and there are clear opportunities as well. Right, and uh, you've mentioned organizational changes and you've mentioned cyber risks. I think these are both aspects that we covered in one or the other way before, but this is really increasing and this is accelerating. So organizational change means really people working from everywhere, needing access from everywhere, which di has direct imp in impact on IT and on cybersecurity, and in parallel, the, the attacks that you've mentioned, cyber risks. So this is something that is really something where where leaders should have a, a stronger grasp on to, to protect their organization and their business uh, from um, these um, uh, attacks being successful. What are the, 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 the benefits that can be achieved when attacking this um, or when approaching these, these challenges properly? What can leaders achieve? Or if it's maybe to the opportunities, when, when I look at the neutral aspect and the opportunities, so Uh, when I look at neutral things, where you can make an advantage out, build an advantage out uh, for your business, then we have aspects like smart manufacturing, um, where you sort of um, improve or change the way you're producing goods um, by utilizing technology. We have the opportunity to create new business models and by delivering digital services. So we can um, also create business change in a, in a way when we do it right, we are clearly on the positive side, we're on the opportunity side. We also can use, when we look at the changing way people work, we also can use this to um, improve our organizations to become more agile, Uh, more innovative. So when people start changing the way they work, we also can, um, can, can use this as something where we create a better, a more modern, a more agile, more innovative innovation. And all the technology innovation clearly is an opportunity for us. So on one hand, for success in the digital age, which is, which is at the end, the big global change digital age, we must on one hand, um, change what we do, but it's also an opportunity for a business to do that. And clearly it means the more we do have digital services, the more we are at risk for, for cybersecurity. So we must have a strong cybersecurity, a strong identity posture. But we also have these opportunities as a business to get um, better and Not only look at change at something that, that, that threats our organization, but something where we can make also positive things out of it. And take, so you brought up this work from home thing, um, hybrid work. I think a lot, a lot have experienced that there are things which are better done in the office, like meeting with people, talking with people, and things that can frequently be better done in a home office, like working concentrated on a certain matter. Right, so as a takeaway for, for, for this episode, it's really a call to action to, to revisit your business, your business model, the way you are doing business with your customer, but also how you are protecting your organization. Uh, really take a step back and have a look at where you can approach these, cha uh, these cha uh, changes, these challenges, and how you can improve your overall um, um, acting towards the market and with your partners and with your employees uh, to, to attack these challenges better. Would that be uh, really uh, this, this ongoing improvement cycle? P -p -p part of it. So, so surely we can't t uh, turn every challenge into an opportunity. But we can start looking more at the opportunities and think about what can we do in a positive way of change. So what is what does the, the digital age mean to our organization, to the way we deliver services to customers, consumers, citizens? Um, which role maybe does our organization play in future smart ecosystems? 
are there new types of services that can be delivered? Um, we can focus on becoming more customer centric, improving digital experiences, which is very essential in digital age. Look at how can we utilize um, the opportunities of hyperconnectivity or also of all the data we have. And what do we do, need to do as a, as a foundation? But um, in, in every change, there's um, always threat and danger and there's opportunity. And I think the, the, the important point is um, as leaders in organizations, it's essential to understand how to um, how to mitigate or, or minimize the impact of the, the the challenges, be it inflation, be it cyber risks, be it supply chain disruptions, but also focus on in 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 mod on modernizing and reinventing on improving the overall organization by looking at the opportunities and all the things we can do differently today in a in the digital age. Very insightful. Thank you, Martin. Uh, we will follow up on this episode with a more detailed uh, look at um, some other aspects that you mentioned in your EIC 2022 keynote. Um, until then, thank you very much, Martin, for giving that insight and looking forward to talking to you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Matthias. Bye.